So I've been watching Jokic and I've been also watching analysis of Jokic from channels like Thinking Basketball, Jimmy High Roller, NBA on ESPN, many more down the line. And it's clear that he's a great player. You can make the argument of top five at this point already in his career if you want. And I can see it. I get it. It's warranted. Jokic is one of the most versatile players ever. I see it took a lot of people some time to get to this point, but at least we're here now with people appreciating the man and giving him his props. But what I got to thinking about is how do you stop Jokic? I haven't heard anybody talk about that one yet. And I for sure haven't heard any real good strategies to do so. So first you got to start with analyzing Jokic. And I think we all heard enough about his win shares, his box plus minus, his assist, three point shooting, scoring ability, rebounds, triple doubles, all of that good stuff. But my assessment is as simple as he's creative. It's really that easy. You don't need a basketball degree or a doctorate, even a master's to figure that part out. You look at the way he passes, the way he goes down the court, the way he inspects the court, the way he does calculations against the opponents. He's just creative. Of course, you've seen things like behind the back passes and one handed passes and touch passes. But you got to look at his overall arsenal and how frequently he mixes things up. I don't think there's a lot of players on his level. I can think of LeBron, Magic, Nash, Rajon Rondo, even the Ricky Rubio types of players like that that are highly creative, very artistic. But you factor in Jokic's height, you factor in the way he just looks walking and running down the court. It's not what immediately comes to mind when you think of flashy, but somehow he's one of the most flashy players there is. He'll have you looking in a different direction, assuming that he has three possible scenarios to do damage to you with, and then just choose an option four, which you gave no consideration to at all. I'll use LeBron as an example. I know it's kind of blasphemous and silly for me to say, but I believe it. He does this very predictable no-look pass a lot of the time. I see it with Westbrook. I've even seen it with Chris Paul, and it lowers how unpredictable these dudes are to me. By no means does it diminish their skill and Hall of Fameness. It's just that Jokic will constantly, consistently, religiously fool you and make you look silly on the court. So now let's move to how I feel you can stop all of this or at least put a damper in Jokic's business, which also coincides with what's the problem with defense nowadays. You got to be creative. Fight creativity with creativity. I said Jokic is one of the most creative players there is. So where's that creative defensive player? You got to fake like you're going to try to go for a steal, try to go for a block, back up, move in. You got to fake. You got to keep him on his toes, make him uncomfortable. He's doing all of that to the defender, but I never see the defender give it back to him. And my man Dan Levitar said it best. Jokic is not going to have a bad game at this rate. You're never going to see him put up a 10-point game, not get his guys involved, rack up the assist totals. He's going to affect the game. There's pretty much nothing you can do about that, except what I said. Make him uncomfortable. I've never seen him uncomfortable. He's very calm, very collected. I compare it to Luka Doncic, Devin Booker, Michael Jordan, Steve Nash, Kobe Bryant, Dwayne Wade, guys that I don't see panic a lot. Very smooth, very in control, free and pretty carefree. So of course, we know double teaming Jokic is a pretty bad idea because he's gonna find any open man, even before they get open. You see highlight after highlight of a guy moving before he even gets the ball because they know how Jokic is gonna get them the ball the moment they get a second or an inch of open space. So that's my bright idea. At the moment as I speak, the Nuggets are up 3-1 in the finals against the Miami Heat. Hopefully they get this news in time. Game five is tomorrow. It feels weird to say that I'm rooting for the Nuggets, but not really because I generally root for the teams that have not won it at all. And you can't help but root for a guy like Jokic. He's adding some spice and attraction to the NBA, which I appreciate. He's very unique. And I think he's well-deserving of that ring that's coming his way. Enjoy the rest of the show.